up warriors and welcome to a king sword tutorial i am thunder and in this video i'll be showing you the best way to farm um lock boxes in the game this way is extremely easy and fast you can do it at any level no matter how skilled you are it's so easy and awesome and it will yield a lot of lock boxes so the preparations for this all you need are um so first a certain map it has to be short and the boss has to be easy so for this i selected the executioner camp the the map is very short and the boss is super easy but on champion it does drop a legendary lockbox so you can get lots of legendary lockboxes very easily um next you have to know um what difficulty you can play on so don't go playing champion so if you if you select Adamara Sanctum for some reason. Don't go playing champion if you're still playing like heroic on this level. So for this, since I'm level eh, since I'm level 60 and I've got some fairly good equipment here, um I am doing executioner camp on champion. You can do heroic or normal, however much you want, whichever one fits your playstyle or whichever one you're at the level at and gives you a reward that a, a lock box that you're um, good with that you like. So um, but eventually you want to do champion at some point later in the game. Um, you don't need any potions for this or any like GLP or anything. You don't need any potions. Um, and I would also, well, what you do probably want is to have some speed, um, like so that you can get through the map fairly quickly. And then you want to have regeneration and if you want stamina and strength. Um, regeneration, strength, and agility, I would say, are the three top most important ones for this um, style. Um, so let's get straight to it. All you have to go do is go to Father Byron the Sage, then go to the map you chose. And I would recommend doing the Executioner Camp even if you don't want to do it. Just even just, if it's just me that's doing it, I would suggest you do it too because um, it, after watching this video, you'll see why it's so easy. So you can play this alone. You don't need any um, any parties or anything. You can do this completely solo. So now. What you need to do is go into the map and completely run past everybody. And you'll get thrown back one or two times like this, but that's just a small amount of time lost. You can still go fairly fast, so you need to just run past everybody and go straight to the boss. Um, get your skills ready, and you want to kill the boss as fast as you possibly can. Um... And you might die, and that's okay, it's just a game. But, so once you defeat the boss, you can go and kill some of the enemies if you want, and that, that you didn't kill earlier, because they will all come running to try to kill you. But it doesn't matter if you kill them, because they won't give you that much gold unless you've got some serious gold find. And I'm going to skip over these guys so I can get the... Um, legendary lockbox here and then end the level this won't give you a whole lot of map mastery but it's really fast for getting the lockboxes as you can see that was just a couple seconds and i already got that lockbox and so through doing this in the past couple of minutes before this video i actually collected 12 legendary lockboxes and so and that it took me really short to do this you can see all these lock boxes it's crazy so and this this one right here the outlined one we actually just got right now so let's go ahead and open those and see what rewards we get <music>
some necklaces, some armor, a lot of rejuvenation potions, a sword, and a ring. And then we also got um, a lot of XP and gold. Um, and so this is very effective. Not only took a few minutes to get all that, and this necklace actually looks pretty cool. Um, I would I would equip it, but it doesn't have move speed and it doesn't have um, additional gold. So I'll just hold on to that for when I might like want to use that. Um, so anyways, so this is really helpful. And these, just from these lock boxes, I got seven rejuvenation potions, which is enough to last you seven normal rounds that are damaging you. Um, so like now I have 37 rejuvenation potions total. And I, I really don't need this sword. I don't need those are actually the same exact thing I have, but I don't I don't need these. And then I guess I don't need that either. But overall you can get a ton of rewards um from doing this. Instead of playing like super hard maps or harder maps like Adamar's Sanctum or the Inner Circle or like the Battlements. Or even like instead of playing some of the gold farming maps which are which which are supposed to give you um, legendary lock boxes instead of doing all that and having to take a ton of time you could just go to the executioner camp and play for a few minutes and you could get 12 legendary lock boxes or any lock boxes and so I find myself doing this a lot. I get lots and lots of rewards from this. This is probably um, like one of my favorite ways of farming gold as well. Um, because in the beginning of the video, I did not have much gold. And now I have almost 25,000 gold. Um, and so I got that gold really quickly. And I also got some XP. So make sure to remember this and jump back to this video in case you forget any of the of the recommendations I have for doing this. Um, so thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, um, and share this video with your friends. And also hit the bell to stay notified whenever new videos come out. So thank you for your time, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!